Okay, so this will be the video for um, the LED projector upgrade. Um, we'll be going through the total process of uh, <clears throat> from the removal. If you are upgrading from uh, the original projector or if you are actually buying the kit which comes with the projector. So, <clears throat> um, the full process here is from four upgrades but it is more or less the same. Just that uh, if the kit comes with the projector, it, it, it means that the brackets will be pre-installed with the projector. This is uh, for the beginning part, this is for the, <coughs> who, the guys who's upgrading the projector from the stock projectors. Now, um, for a start, um, remove the full uh, front face cover completely and then uh, take out the sockets remove all the sockets from the top um, we can actually go ahead and uh, remove this plug this is the power to <coughs> the DRLs uh, this is a stock harness and uh, remove all the plugs from here the connectors, the clip on connectors Okay, that's all done. <clears throat> and then number two, the horn, which is uh, okay. The horn, uh, if it's reachable, just remove the wires. Okay, remove the wires. So now we can go ahead to remove the projector unit. Just remove all the four screws. You will require to readjust the headlight, <coughs> the the height after the installation. And okay, just hang it there. There's just this connector which is which is a little bit hard to get in from this side so you can go ahead to remove the driver actually we should remove the driver first but uh, <laughs> but yeah it's the same Out comes the driver, press the front tab and pull out the whole projector unit. So we want to leave the driver here first and we will go ahead to swap, swap up the projector unit <laughs> and uh, yeah the horn will have to follow together okay. Uh, the projector itself, the adapter, the harness, the add-on harness for speed rule because the speed rule has part of the harness for the DRL and the integrate, integrated turn signal if you opt for that and this will be the add-on harness and that's the driver for the projector. So first, uh, we remove <coughs> the three bolts here. Uh, in the case, in the case of uh, of whoever who bought the kit together with the um, projector, uh, this will be pre-mounted, which means you do not have to take out your stock projector from the original headlight. I have a customer who. Uh, met an accident, so broke his projector. So, yeah, he'll be. He is one of the guys who's actually buying uh, a complete set. So you want to get back the bracket, <coughs> and now you want to put this adapter on. Uh, always do the back. 
a minute. Okay. Always do the back one first. <coughs> the last piece comes with the horn. It's installed with the horn. It's a little bit hard to balance in. All right. Okay, got that in. Swivel this out first and tighten <coughs> the rear. Oops. On. Tighten the rear bolt up first. I prefer to put it straight. Okay. And we just tighten up. That's good. <clears throat> and um, before we go in, you want to take this particular connector, the long connector, and um, <coughs> plug it in to this side, okay? So it goes that way, okay? Um, there's two wires here. The two wires here should be tucked in and cable tight here. Okay, so just Okay, just cable tie here. Okay, and we are ready to do the installation on the bike. Okay, so now we are gonna install the projector, the new projector into its place. And uh, first we're gonna move all the wires out of the way. So try to get it so that uh, it's on top because most of the wires all is on the top side <coughs> same goes to this to push all the wire on the top side okay oh, messy it's a lot of wires so <coughs> first we just put this on just put everything back into place Light adjustment will be done last. Okay, so it's still going to be loose now. Uh, first, what we're going to do is you're going to actually put back the side connectors, clip it back on particularly the ones on the throttle side. And, <clears throat> okay. So, power source still here. Now, we have one of the sockets behind here, which should connect. One minute. Uh, yes. The DRL, the original DRL ones, should connect to the long connectors behind here. It's a little bit tight. Okay. And we'll try to move the white connector. This is the DRL connectors to the front side. 
and now we can actually put the stop harness clip back up here actually you know what i'm gonna put it down here i'm gonna use this port to to secure the the additional cables that's going back up just wanna tuck this back underneath this particular socket i think that's for the uh heated grip which i don't use not where i'm from we have a hot country here <clears throat> okay so that's the stock um supply and there's one particular connector here this is from the new connector set sorry we gotta make sure that the wire goes up from here this is the new harness that is supplied will be plugged into this side okay okay i think the camera angle was wrong just now so but again um once you connect the the new socket to this particular point make sure that the gray cable is on this side the, the gray connector sorry and this large cable should be going on from the throttle side sideways up and at this position here initially there's no hole now i don't mind these two holes here i was doing some uh, research so i had to kind of drill a few places to find out but <clears throat> um this is where you want to locate the uh relay as close as possible to this particular socket but click so just drill a five and a half to six mil hole uh, there will be a bulb supplied with the kit uh, after drilling easiest way is to put the bolt from the honey it's a bit hard to put in usually i'll remove the needles first to allow for more space So, what you want to do is to put the bolt from behind. If you're actually doing this without the headlight, it will be a lot easier. But uh, in the case that you're upgrading and you do not want to release, remove the whole headlight, then this is one of the ways. Just place the relay on. And... Tighten this screw. Make sure the relay is straight. Okay, so that's tight. Now, this white color connector. Okay, from the projector, you have two sockets, right? The white color socket connect back to the white color socket. Okay, let's connect this back. And then, there's this particular round one that's going to be connecting to the driver. So, now we have to install the driver first. Okay. So, we're going to place the driver back. Okay, so Okay, that's nice and tight. There's a oops. I forgot about one connector. Sorry, it fell in. Yes. 
So this connector goes up here. Click it back. It's part of the stock connector. Now, uh, the last part would be to stick this right here. Okay. Well, you want the round head to be on the throttle side. The gray connector on the uh, plus side. So, got the double sided. right in the center clean the surface up make sure that you get a good bond there the gray color connector okay in here okay and now you have this round head make sure that there's a knot and the dent here, line them up, don't bend the inner pin, and then just tuck them on this side, and more or less cable tie everything to its position. Uh, at this point, we can try to turn the switch on. Uh, the projector is slightly different. It will turn on with the switch, not when you start, but the high beam doesn't work until after you start okay so there it works high beam doesn't work now fire the bike up okay so that's done just have to tidy up uh, this particular wire right here here and probably just secure some of the wires on this side. I'll get it done in a moment. Okay, so finally we're just gonna cable manage a bit so that it doesn't move around. I've uh, tied down one here. Just tie down any loose wires so to ensure that they stay tidy. Make sure everything is so uh, tight. Well, not too tight. Just enough to hold everything into place. Take. Okay, so the installation should be done. Once, uh, oh yeah, we've got the horn sock wires which we need to put back. Do not forget the horn. I'm going to need the horn. Uh, should have put it in before. Forgot about this. It's a bit hard to put in now. Ah, limited space. Okay, one is in. Okay, the second one is in. Socket it down. And yes, the installation is done. So just put back the front cover. Don't forget to connect back the DRLs. And uh, yeah, that's the full installation. Oh, yeah, uh, readjust the light before you put back the front cover. Okay, thank you.